I wanted to take a moment this morning to talk about what is blockchain or what, you know, cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency? Basically, what they do is they they have massive amounts of computers, like this entire room full of computers, except way more than that, full of computers that are trying to find a number that fits into their algorithm. And it's really hard to find this number, and it gets harder to find numbers similar to it the longer that the, the computers are running. Um, so they're looking for what's called the root hash. And that's the beginning of, it's like the beginning of a chain of blocks. So once they find that number by, how do they find that number? A ton of electricity, a ton of cooling the room because it's such a hot thing. It's massive amounts of computer power. It's special types of chips or GPUs that are working to find that number. So once they find it, it's the beginning of a block. And that block can be worth a lot, like a block in Bitcoin's like worth like $7,000 or something. But so it's a, there. that's what finding blockchain is, what, 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 what creating new money is. And the reason they like it uh, is because it, it means there's scarcity in the money. There's only so much money available to the public and that scarcity is, is it, it, it's like having a governor on your car or having a governor on your printing press. So you're printing money, yes, but there's a governor on it so you can only print so much money and then other people can print the money too. And so when Libra, Facebook's cryptocurrency comes out, what will have made Libra? Everyone, but specifically Facebook, will have turned their servers. So based on their algorithm, can Facebook create as much money as possible? Yes. They can change the algorithm to create as much money as possible. Every time that a dollar is put into circulation, every time you buy a Libra current cryptocurrency, um, does Facebook get exactly the amount of money that, they, that, they, that you paid them? It's free money. Yes. So Facebook's planning on having the servers work really hard and then they're going to throw away a bunch of money. Literally. They're going to throw away a ton of money. And then they're going to sell their money to people. But the difference between Facebook's cryptocurrency and regular cryptocurrency is there's no governor on Facebook's cryptocurrency. So they can print as much money as they want. And then you have this company who is literally trying to choose the next president. What, by, by, by censoring what people see. And what do they see? You love Bernie Sanders because he's Jewish. And you love Pete Buttigieg because he went to Harvard with Mark Zuckerberg. And no one even knows this. Except Mark Zuckerberg and the people of Facebook and the people that are involved in this, in this situation. So basically what's at stake right now in this election is the American dollar. You're like it. If, if, if Facebook wins this election, they control money because that they're trying, like they're trying so hard to get into the cryptocurrency business. I talked about in the past, how did we create our cryptocurrency? Cause we have two cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Monero. Um, and obviously what, what is cryptocurrency actually for? It's for selling drugs. It's for, it's for it's it's a token. It's a it's it's like going to Chuck E. Cheese and you buy a Chuck E. Cheese token with your token with token. You, you buy Chuck E. Cheese token with your dollar. Like that's what cryptocurrency is. Here's your here's your Bitcoin. Go buy drugs, because it's a way of doing transactions, financial tra transactions, outside of banks, because people don't want to carry cash anymore. And so the most commonly used currency for drug transactions is Bitcoin. And that's why Bitcoin went up so much. And that's why it's so nice that Monero exists because it relieves some of the pressure on Bitcoin because all these people started speculating with Bitcoin because there is a limit to how much it, it, it there is. And it's so widely used and then it caused Bitcoin to skyrocket. But what is Bitcoin actually for? It's for selling drugs. So, Libra doesn't, Libra is for printing money, basically. It's for him trying to take over the, the money business. But um, let's face it, have, have people from this Jewish, Jewish community already taken over our politics? Who's, who's prosecuting Donald Trump? Adam Schiff, Jewish guy. Chuck Schumer, Jewish guy. Who's defending Donald Trump? 
<laughs> Jewish people. So everyone that's involved in Donald Trump is Jewish. It, who, 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 who's from the Justice Department? Rosenberg. Right? Isn't that Rosenstein? Rosenberg? I can't remember his name is. Rod Rosenstein. That's who it is. Maybe Rosenberg is number two. No, seriously. It's like unbelievable. Like how, like, like I said it before. Like, am I going to have any American Samoans in my popu in, in my White House administration? Why do I need Jewish people? It's the same because their populations are a similar size. But American Samoans aren't anywhere. Jewish people are in charge of everything. And that's how Donald Trump won because... Is Donald Trump's son-in-law that significant in his in his administration? And is Donald Trump very specific towards Israel? Yes, like Donald Trump is 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 is, 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 is like, I mean, you don't understand. Israel is populated with Russian Jews, like like a huge percentage of Jews in Israel came from Russia, and so they have a very close they have a lot more a lot closer ties with Russia than people realize, and so it. A lot of these issues are very complicated, but what's not complicated is cryptocurrency, the way that Facebook's doing it, is printing money. And this guy is a bad guy. He, in his software that he distributes to everyone, he has hacked you. Like, he wrote it into his software to hack the entire world. He knows it. And so, if you think that's okay, you you have a pro you don't understand this conspiracy of people that control information, control knowledge of information, that have massive servers they can look at that information, that are, that are now picking politicians and then they're censoring other people. So I don't I don't mean I don't know what we're gonna do. Obviously, the entire Harvard Law School or the entire Supreme Court's from Harvard Law School, and the Supreme Court has very clearly thrown out the Constitution on purpose, knowingly. And a lot of federal judges have too. And that's why I've said um, we're going to have to impeach like all of the federal judges Donald Trump has appointed. And then they, they might be able to be federal judges again. But that's, that's, like, that's the significance of Donald Trump, of the blackmail, of blackmailing Donald Trump to control his, his, his choices in elected officials. I mean, like, it, like we're going to have to replace so many judges, but we might not. We might just have exactly what the United States is right now, which is a blackmail society where we don't have even have a real president.